Okay, hi, my name's Neil. I'm the principal investigator on Frontier's Fiji Marine Project. And with me, I have Kat. Hi, everybody. Um, basically, I'm the project coordinator for the project out here in Fiji. Um, so we're just going to sit and talk to you guys about what you're going to expect and what um, each of our highlights are. Okay, so Neil, why Fiji? Why, why Fiji? do we want to come to Fiji? Best place in the world. South Pacific's most beautiful place. In my opinion, the most beautiful region in the world. Um, I'm, I'm a marine biologist. My love of the ocean has, has driven me here, where the coral reefs are more beautiful than, than you can see anywhere else. Yeah. Do so you get to see some big fish? We do get to see some big fish. Yeah. Superfin lemon sharks, manta rays. That's been pretty good times. Yeah. Remember the whales? <laughs> How could I forget the whales? <laughs> Humpback whales 50 metres from the boat, breaching just behind us. and. Uh, Sitting there watching a mother with her calf, weren't we, for about an hour? Yeah, that was really, really good, actually. Do me a day in the life of what sort of thing I might be doing if I was on camp. Firstly, every single day is different. There are things that you do on a day-to-day -day basis that are quite the same, but then you're diving different sites every day, you've got different duties, different rotors. Um, what things. sort of duties do we have? What sort of duties? Okay, so we have cooking rotors. Um, so we cook on an open campfire, um, and uh, we have... Uh, a roster so that everybody cooks the meals for the whole camp um, you know, on a day, daily basis or however many people we've got then you know, we have, have cooking teams and camp duties teams so we have to rake all of our paths because leaves come down in the night well I guess we should probably go with the world famous one so that's Ningali Passage um, we do get uh, dive boats that come out to dive this place it's, it is uh, in all the guidebooks to Fiji and it's a 30 meter deep or so, maybe more like 27 meter deep passage through the barrier reef from outside the barrier into the lagoon that's outside our island <clears throat> and it's a grey reef, uh, grey reef shark aggregation site so and these sharks are big yeah they're nice like, sharks we're talking pretty much the size of me and then real well, fat like a little bit meal, more than that so, yeah. so <laughs> <laughs> ten, 10 feet something like that Rachel Jordan uh, Sarah would be pretty annoyed if we didn't mention Stingray City. Yeah. Uh, it's a site that we just stumbled across. I mean, we did a, did a 50 meter transect and we had 13, 13 stingrays, blue spotted stingrays, and, uh, and the biggest grey reef shark that I've ever seen just cruised in. Um, I actually thought it was a bull shark until it turned sideways and it was that big. So that was just, uh, just astonishing. Um, I mean, this this truck that you can hear behind us. We're not on the island right now. We're in beautiful Suva. Uh, on the island, you don't hear any traffic or anything like that. So, um, yeah. and the best snorkeling has got to be in now Wai Wai Bay, isn't it? Yeah, that's amazing. Which is uh, better known as Manta Bay. Well, we call it Manta Bay because we see manta rays in the bay. <laughs> People call it Manta Ray Bay now, though. Yeah, yeah. So we normally try and get down there. <laughs> Once every week or so, maybe once every couple of weeks, if the mantas are around, so we can have a bit of a snorkel with those. Again, every time I see them, I'm just absolutely astonished by the size of them. Ah, well, uh, you'll be living in traditional Fijian burays. Um, so, uh, very, very simple, thatched roofs, um, just op open really. Um, big they spiders. Have, they have, yeah, big spiders. Geckos. Geckos. Skinks. Skinks. Yeah, crabs, beautiful. Land lots crabs. of big land crabs. Make sure you keep your stuff off the ground or the land crabs will steal it. 20, 20 feet from the sea at high tide, something like that. Mm. About 20 feet from the sea at high tide and just with the bush just behind you. So it's always a competition between the sounds of the waves and the sounds coming from the bush at night. So that's always, always pretty nice. That's really nice. Yeah. If you no, ever had trouble sleeping, you won't hear. No, we are um, exceptionally lucky actually. Yeah. Um, yeah, and we, we live on a beach that we have to ourselves, really. 